What is up guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a Gorilla Tag player model for your Gorilla Tag fan game. So, I haven't seen any tutorial like with hands and stuff like that, so um, yeah, other than my friend's uh, Flimsy's tutorial, but I will be showing you guys how to create one uh, today. So this is just very simple, all you gotta do is make a cube. Now we're gonna be doing this all throughout the video, so it's just a bunch of cubes. Um, so we're going to add a subdivision surface, make it two. Now, if you guys want a very fat model, you know, uh, you know, like this is going to be like normal size. So, and then for fat, you know, like if you want it to be just fat in general, you could just like make it bigger and smaller. And then, uh, we're going to create another cube. So this is going to be the arms. We're going to add a subdivision surface. And now what we're going to do is make it simple. And uh, we're going to make this to... Okay, we're going to make this to 1 and 1. And now we're going to apply this. Or actually, no, we, we're going to want to make this to 2. And now what we're going to do is, now we don't want it to be the same size as our stomach, so we're just going to size it down. Uh, like, right there is good. And so, here we have the first arm. I will be showing you guys how to rig it, too. So, the first arm, just like that. So, you can make it longer if you want. Just like that. And click Shift-D to duplicate it, and then left-click. And then bring it out more. Say like there is good. And then size it down. And now boom. Now what you want to do is uh, select both of them while holding shift. Now right click and click join. Now what you want to do is click shift D to duplicate it. And then on the Z axis you want to flip it 180 degrees. And then just line it up that one so like make it even so right now it's not even so we're gonna want to put that like right there so boom now we have our hands or our arms I guess so now what you want to do is just go ahead and um, you know just select all three of them and then click join again and here you have your um, your model but you might want to make the stomach, like before joining, you might want to make it like a longer, so it's not like, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but, yeah. So there we have our, uh, you know, arms and body. Now click join. And now what you want to do is, now we're going to make our head. So uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do ears uh, inside of this tutorial. So you want to make this two, and then, you know, if you want a big head, just do the same thing, just scale it up. Uh, in this case, I'll just scale it down, because it's pretty, pretty big body. But you can also scale it up if you want to, I'll just do that. Now, this isn't, like, the best player model, but I guess you can go to Flimsy's tutorial. And, you know, copy the body. And then I'll teach you guys how to do the head. So for the head, what you want to do is click on this little thing right here. Like where all the dots show up. And now you don't want it to be deformed. So like that. And now you want to keep it as a little circle. But now bring the cheeks in. And you still don't want it to be deformed, so bring it out. And boom, there you have the little face. Now you can bring these up as well, of course, if you want. But um, yeah, my face is like somewhat submerged inside the body. So yeah, we're just going to do that. So there we have our little face. Uh, you guys can texture if you want. So to have like different textures on everything. You want to make a plus, 
so this will be our fur here before actually you want to join everything before texturing so I'll get over like texturing later but you basically want to uh, for the hands create a cube and um, for this one this is kind of interesting so what you want to do is go to edit mode oh, click one side and then another side while holding shift click E and then left click and size it out with the green uh, so basically this is extruding so you want to extrude three times so like there oh whoops like there or actually no don't extrude that you want to bring this up a little bit for like a palm like that right there so it's, it's it like curves up a little bit and now what you want to do for the little you know for the fingers what you want to do is extrude it extrude it again like a little tiny bit and then bring it down and now for the thumb what you want to do is extrude it extrude it again and bring it down now it, it'll look very wonky like that so we'll just bring it up like that and bring it down and now we're going to add the subdivision surface and here we have our hand now instead of bringing it down I guess we could just make a normal size for the thumb uh, so we don't gotta bring the thumb down so just add modifier and subdivision surface now you have a little hand now that you've done that what you want to do is tilt this 90 degrees and size it down of course so like ma make it like the proper size for like your your arm so I say like that and then just bring it up to like right there boom so now what you want to do is shift D left click and then you want to rotate it negative 90 degrees And then you want to turn it over 90 degrees or 180 I'm in my bad and so there you have your hands now you want to join everything once again and I will get to texturing last as I said but now to rig the model now in order to rig the model what you gotta do is click add up here and now go over to armature single bone and now you want to go to visibility not visibility I mean viewport display and click in front now you will see that it's like in the middle of our model right there so what you want to do is just bring it down to the very bottom now go to edit mode and now you want to click this little dot up here now you want to put the move little thingy and now you want to bring it up once like that and then bring it up again once you've brought it up again uh, what you gotta do is click on the middle right there and now bring it down to like your shoulder extrude it once to the middle of your arm and then extrude it again and now this is for it if you want to do finger movements in your game um, you know you can rig the hand like how I'm about to do so just extrude it out to like right here extrude right here now you want to do three bones one two and three bones one two three bones now for the middle right here 
Now for the thumb, you just want to do one bone. And now your uh, hand is fully rigged. Now we got to do the other side, so the arm. Boom. One, two, like that. Extrude it out again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here we gotta fix that. So if you mess up on the bones, you know, you can just like move them. So, you know, like wherever you want. Extrude it again. And boom, now your model is fully rigged. But as you can see, if we go inside of pose mode, you will see like nothing moves. Now you're wondering, Blizz, how do I make my model move with the rig? What you want to do is click on the model and then armature up here. Click control P. And, or no, you want to do the bones first and then that and then click. Okay, so you want to do it inside of your scene. So you want to click the model and then the bones. Click control P and then with automatic weights. And now your model should be rigged. So, you know, you can move everything. And, um, yeah, like, say you want to move the arms, like the hand, I mean, you know, you can move the fingers too. And, um, yeah, so, you know, you've got your head rigged and everything. So, now for the ears. Now, as for the ears, what you want to do is click on the armature and make in front off so you can see your model. And now for the ears, you want to make it the appropriate size for your model, so make a cube. Add modifier, subdivision surface, 2. Now go up here and click apply. And now you can see this is super big, so we want to make that small, like right there like that and then make it thin go in front of our model again and then you could see if we just bring it to the side there you can see it's perfect size now what you want to do is do the opposite so could shift D left click and now you want to do the opposite of the Y so you want to copy that And now paste it, or not paste it, uh, delete the negative, and boom, you have your ears. Now you want to join everything. Now this won't mess up your rig, don't worry, but to make your ears just look even better, what you want to do is go to edit mode, select the ear faces that are visible. Um, just wait. Give me a second, guys. Once everything is selected, oh, once, ev oh my god. Okay, once everything is selected, what you want to do is extrude them back. So click E and then make them go backwards. And, um, boom, now you have your model. And now, as for your stomach, what you want to do is do the same thing. So extrude it back just like that. And then you can do the same thing for your face if you want as well. Extrude it back. I like my models like that. It's just, it looks better that way. Now what you want to do for it not to look as blocky like this, you want to click, you know, right click, and then click Shade Smooth. And now everything will look better. Now it won't look like this inside of Unity, obviously, because it'll be textured, but, um, you know, uh, we could play with the bones a little bit, I guess, so. Uh, pose mode. In front. Now, I made the arms a little bit too, you know, like low, so I could just bring them up. Oh. What 
the heck? You just do that in the Unity. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why it's rotating, but I mean, you could just bring them up inside of your Unity if they're too low or if they look awkward. But now for texturing, what you want to do is in edit mode, this might take a long time. So click on your model. Now go to edit mode and now just create like textures. So this would be stomach fur this would be ears and face so basically for your face what you want to do is just select everything like inside of the extruded circle or like whatever shape this is and click assign and now basically you want to do this for every single texture so fur would be like the outer layers like the arms the body the head and um, yeah the ears would be the inside of the ears and then the stomach would be the inside of the stomach of course and um, yeah basically guys that's how you create a player model for your girl tech fan game everyone have an amazing day and goodbye